In this movie, I'd like to show you how to set up the SMTP integration module with Capturus WriteFax. First, I'm going to install a POP3 server. This is the POP3 service that comes with uh, Microsoft Windows on the, on the uh, installation CD. So I've just done a basic install. I haven't chosen any options. There aren't any options to choose, really. Letting it finish the install. And we're done. Now I'm going to go to the POP3 service configuration tool. And first thing I want to do is change uh, it from using Active Directory integrated authentication just to local Windows accounts. The reason is that I've got an Exchange server and I don't want to screw that up. So my domain is going to be smtp.capteris.local. And now I'm going to create some users. First administrator, but you know I've already got an administrator user, so I don't want to create that Windows account. Now I'm going to create the RFAX user, which is the user that who's going to receive all outgoing and incoming faxes. So I'll click OK. Okay, so now I want to see if my mailboxes work. So first I'm going to try out the administrator account. So I'm an administrator, and here's my email address. Here's my POP3 server, and outgoing as well. And my account name and password. Okay, so I'm creating a new message to myself. You know, if this stuff doesn't work, there's no chance that WriteFax is going to be able to use the SMTP server. So I, I really need to make sure that my installation, my basic installation of the S SMTP server actually works. Once I've tested this, the actual WriteFax stuff is, is easy. So now I'm trying out the RFAX user. And um, it's all the same configuration, just using a different username to log in as rfax at smtp.capteris.local. Click on next and finish. And now I'm just going to send myself, well, I'm going to send rfax a email from me, from administrator. And since I've set RFAX up as an account for Outlook Express, I'll be able to send from administrator and receive an RFAX from the same mailbox. Okay, so I got that working. That's great. Now I want to delete the RFAX account from Outlook Express. If I don't do that, Outlook Express is going to grab that email before the WriteFax module has a chance to even look in the mailbox so no faxes would ever go out. Okay, now I'm going into Enterprise Fax Manager and creating the email gateway. But of course, I don't have any email gateways, so nothing's shown in my services. So I can go to Control Panel and um, add that service. Here it is, WriteFax Email Gateway. And I'm going to add the SMTP POP3 gateway. My server address is smtp.capteris.local, and my POP3 mailbox is rfax at smtp.capteris.local. Now, depending on your POP3 server, you may or may not be required to put in the full email address. Sometimes the mailbox name might just be rfax or whatever user you've created on there. So starting up my gateway, uh, but still not listed there. So I can close Enterprise Fax Manager and start it up again. 
and uh, it should be there this time. So there it is. I'm going to start up the module. And it started now. Now, and I'm going into Outlook Express and sending a email addressed as a fax. So it's got this uh, weird uh, addressing scheme, but I'm sending the email actually to rfax at smtp.capterrace.local. And uh, everything that goes in the subject line shows up in the uh, cover sheet notes, and everything in the body shows up on the first page of the fax. Any attachments will show up as the uh, you know, second, third, fourth, and so forth uh, um, files or pages in my fax. I'll click send. I click send receive just to make sure that it really did go from Outlook Express. In FaxUtil, I can see that my fax sent and I've received it. Now, ignore the cover sheet notes for now. I'm going to look through the rest of the fax. Let me zoom in a bit. So there's the um, cover sheet, or so the body and the attachment. Now, take a look at the cover sheet notes. Not exactly pretty. Because I've got that um, subject line, then I've got all this header information. I don't like that, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go back to Enterprise Fax Manager and the configuration for the email gateway. I'm going to turn on the Remove Mail Headers feature or function. And switch over to Outlook Express and send that fax again. Oh, here's a uh, notification from that previous fax that I sent. I'll close that and send a fax. Go, click on send. Send receive just to make sure. And in fax util, I'm going to refresh. I can see it's being sent. It's been sent. And I should see it show up in my mailbox. There it is. And now my notes text is uh, a lot cleaner. I don't see all that header information which is great. So that's all that's required to set up SMTP integration with Ketcher's Rifax. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little movie. Oh, there's my notification. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.